The model is represented by the most popular modifications in this market segment, a four-door sedan and a five-door station wagon brake. The stylish coupe, which Peugeot positions as a separate model, stands somewhat apart. The well-known automobile Couturier Pininfarina was engaged in the development of its design, at whose production facilities this modification of the 406th was assembled. We don't see cars like this very often. The manufacturer is especially proud of the high corrosion resistance of the 406th model. Double-sided galvanizing of metal, except for the roof, additional protection of the bottom and wheel arches, with such a gentleman set, even on specimens that have been in operation for a long time, it is difficult to find pockets of rust. The model was offered in three versions, the base SR, the more expensive ST, which we meet more often than others as well as a stuffed SV with a leather interior and decorative wood inserts, full power accessories, front and side airbags and climate control. Most of the 400 and SIXS used on the road are sold by an official dealer of a French company. Such cars were equipped with the so-called package for bad roads, which included increased ground clearance due to the installation of higher and more powerful struts and steel crankcase protection. So long. The interior of the car is cozy and spacious, even three passengers are comfortable in the back. But the trunk volume of the Peugeot 406 sedan is one of the smallest in the class, only 430 liters. The creators had to sacrifice visibility for a harmonious appearance, the lower edge of the rear window of the sedan is located high enough, which is why the driver does not see the extreme dimensions of the car. During lateral maneuvers, the left A-pillar is at eye level, although it does not significantly block visibility. At the same time, the ceiling of the font is very high, so hardly anyone will complain about the lack of free space above their heads. Quite enough in space from the knees to the backs of the front seats in the gallery. Experts note that on some machines there is increased play in the mechanism for adjusting the angle of inclination of the backrests of the front seats, which is why the backrests dangle a little. Engine. The range of Peugeot 406 power units is wide, 9 petrol and 5 turbo diesel engines. By the way, during the modernization, the power of some motors increased. In addition, engines borrowed from the Peugeot 405 and 605 were excluded from the line, a 2.0-liter turbo petrol, 147 horsepower, and a 1.9-liter diesel, 90 horsepower, and 2.1-liter, 109 HP. They were replaced by more modern units, gasoline 2.2 L16V, 158 horsepower, and turbo diesels, 2.0 L, 90 horsepower, and 2.0 L, 109 horsepower, equipped with a direct injection system fuel. In our country, cars with petrol engines of 1.8 and 2.0 liters are more common. According to the service workers, with timely maintenance before replacing the rings, the motors are able to go 300,000 kilometers. Every 80,000 kilometers in the units it is necessary to replace the timing belt along with the tension and guide rollers and inspect the water pump since it is driven by this belt. Although the pump takes care of approximately 12 to 3 timing belt life. In diesel versions, during this work, you also need to inspect the fuel pump seal, since its leakage can disable the new belt and cause the pistons to meet the valves fatally. In gasoline engines, the air intake is located very low in the front bumper, so on wet roads you need to beware of deep puddles at high speeds, water can enter the cylinders and cause water hammer. Sometimes the electric fan of the cooling system, located in front of the radiator, fails. As a rule, this happens in winter, when the fan freezes over, and when turned on, the load on its winding increases and it burns out. Transmission. Peugeot 406 were equipped with 5-speed manual and 4-speed automatic gearboxes. Both units are generally reliable, although they can still create problems during operation. So, in the mechanics, due to the effects of moisture and road salt, the gear shift mechanism can wedge. In the, the machine of the German company ZF, there are other problems. The contacts of the electrical connectors are oxidized, which violates the stability of the gearbox. The way out is a simple cleaning of the contacts and their treatment with preparations such as WD-40. Maintenance of a mechanical gearbox, checking the tightness of the unit, the oil level in it and topping up the lubricant, automatic, changing the oil every 60,000 km SHRUS anthers should be checked regularly. The appearance of cracks in them leads to the failure of the grenade. It is replaced only in the assembly with the axle shaft. Suspension. Comfortable suspension perfectly smooths the impression of our far from smooth roads. On this car, the French used a passively thruster multi-link suspension at the rear, 
thanks to which the font is distinguished by enviable stability and controllability. First of all, our roads kill the rear suspension. So, only about 30,000 kilometers is the thrust of the steering mechanism. On cars before restyling, a floating silent block was used in the rear trunnion, nursing 40 to 50,000 kilometers. Later it was replaced with a more durable part, which can also be put on cars before modernization. Racks of the rear anti-roll bar serve about 50,000 kilometers. In the front independent suspension, the support bearings of the struts are the least durable, which can run 50 to 60,000 kilometers. The remaining parts of the front end serve about 100,000 kilometers and change separately from each other. Steering. The steering of all versions is equipped with hydraulic booster. The key to its trouble-free service is the timely replacement of the working fluid. The tie rod ends suck out about 80,000 kilometers. During the restyling of 1999, the designers upgraded the brake system, abandoning the less efficient rear drum mechanisms in favor of disc ones. Notes on the brakes. After 150 to 200,000 kilometers, the seats of the front caliper guides are broken, which is why they rattle unpleasantly when driving through bumps, and the parking brake drive mechanism in the rear disc mechanisms also rusts. To avoid problems with the handbrake, service workers recommend using it regularly. Peugeot 406 is a solid family car with a good resource and no service problems. Its advantages include a good set of consumer qualities and a slight loss in price over time.